Thanks so much. Joined now by Mark Carrig of Newsday. And Mark, one of the interesting things about today's game was it was pretty much the regulars in there. It could have been the opening day lineup. You had Jerry Blevins throwing three pitches. It all felt a lot like the regular season. <laughs> Mark, do you think that lineup could be what we see on April 3rd? I absolutely do. I think, you know, what, what we saw with this lineup today is that Lucas Duda, a 30 home run threat, hitting seventh. So I think that tells you how deep this lineup could be. And I think there's a lot of guys that can do a lot of things. We saw Curtis Granderson hitting a four hole today, obviously worked out pretty well. Saw Azdrubal Cabrera hitting second, which was, a, was an alignment that worked really well for them last year. So I think there's a lot of pieces that can be moved here. But I think Terry Collins, you know, kind of indicated after the game today that he'd like to keep it pretty steady, and he certainly got the pieces, and I think we saw it a little bit today. So we have a general idea of who the starters will be, but it's the bench that's still kind of up for grabs. And, Mark, you wrote your column today with the roster productions for Newsday. How do you think this bench might shape up for the Mets? Well, I think right now I've got it with Ty Kelly in the mix, and I know he's somebody who was off the 40-man roster, and that might be a little bit surprising, but... Remember, there's a couple roster spots here where the Mets could open up, Juiz Familia being one of them. If he's suspended, as people expect, you know that takes him off the 40, or at least allows the Mets to use his spot on the 40. I think that could benefit a guy like Ty Kelly. I think TJ Rivera, another guy from the WBC who's done well there. I think TJ's got a spot on this bench right now. And, you know, again, you've heard it a lot with the Mets. Flexibility is the key. And I think both of those guys afford some level of flexibility on the bench. And does your projection leave Michael Conforto as a starter in Las Vegas or the power off the bench with the big league club? Yeah, right now I think Michael Conforto is still ticketed for Las Vegas. The priority really, ever since the offseason, I don't think they've changed their tone on this. They want him to play every day, and that's not going to happen in the major leagues. It can only happen in Las Vegas. Mark Craig, thanks so much for coming on.